walked over to me and put it on my table and said, this is Tinky Winky, your new friend. Have I ever told you about the coolest German teacher I ever had? In my final two years of middle slash high school, my German teacher was this guy who was a little more of age and who was about to retire. And he was as positively strange as I consider myself to be. First off, he always wore suits, which is totally not a thing teachers here in the Netherlands do. He also always carried a hockey stick with fake decorative flowers pasted onto there. He didn't play hockey, but he took a hockey stick from the PE class and always said, I stole this hockey stick. Also, the first day, as I was sitting in the front, like I always did, he suddenly took out a stuffed children's toy of uh, the Teletubbies, walked over to me and put it on my table and said, this is Tinky Winky, your new friend. Even though it wasn't even Tinky Winky, it was Dipsy. But that's not it. He always had this little stash of candy in case someone had their birthday. The thing is, we thought that candy was probably there for like five years already because it was so hard that you basically couldn't chew it. Even though it was something that's supposed to be soft, such as chocolate, it was so hard you could basically bash someone's head in with it. He also had this box in class that says the magic mushroom box. And in there, there were lollipops that resembled mushrooms. But I just mentioned birthdays. Because every time he saw it was someone's birthday, he would publicly address their birthday in class, have them stand on the chair, put either a inflatable crown on them or a Bob the Builder helmet, take room decorations and drape that around them, and have us all sing happy birthday. That's why everyone was always afraid to admit that it was their birthday in class. Because they were always scared that they would have to stand on the chair and have everyone sing happy birthday to them while draped in some really crazy stuff he just had laying around. Sometimes his way of teaching could be a little distractive, such as the fact that he had trouble not talking. Which is funny because I have the same thing. Do you think he's me from the future? For example, if we were to do a test, he would sometimes sit in front of the class at his desk and just mumble so 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 which I of course heard because I was sitting at the front. I remember one time during a test me yelling could you stop doing that I'm trying to focus on the test. I mean he stopped and not to mention his wife because in class he had this little jar for your savings basically it, it, it looked it resembled a jar it was basically used as a piggy bag just not in the shape of a pig obviously. It had this coin slot where you just could put your coins in basically transparent piggy bank in the shape of a glass. So he also had had this doll, which he had taken the head of, and then taped or glued or whatever onto the top of that transparent savings thing, and then introduced that to us as his wife, Juanita Shikatita Sambabal, which is also a joke he kept at the whole two years. And since it was German class, in the tests he made, there would obviously be German sentences. In every test, there would be at least one sentence regarding his wife, Juanita, which was the doll head on the cup standing in the corner of the room. He also invented another game. In class, he had this little tin cylinder which was filled with some tennis balls. Basically, one of those things you buy tennis balls in. Occasionally, sometimes during class, he would put that can on top of the door, take the balls, and just throw the balls at the tin, trying to get the tin to fall off of the door. This is a game he would call Ball Ball. And as I was always sitting in class, I would always talk to some people sitting around me. So I asked them to record something as well, talking about our teacher and their experiences. So like every lesson we got from him was so exciting, I remember, because we never knew what was going to happen. And I believe one time I, I didn't bring my books or I didn't do my homework, something like that. And uh, we had those empty cans and he put them on top of the doorway. There is this edge and he put them on top of there and he gave me this ball like a uh, tennis ball I believe. I had to throw the ball at the cans to throw them off the doorway just because I didn't do my homework and it was so strange and some other people had to do it as well like in lessons afterwards. I didn't hear it from anyone else that they had to do it from other classes but like that was his teaching style. If you don't do your homework just throw some cans off the doorway. This makes so much sense yeah. <laughs> and also he had this thing that he'd call students with their street name where they lived <laughs> and he'd always say yeah I, I was so close to your house I, I almost rang the bell when he asked a question and he you raised your hand and for instance you lived at like alleyway that's your street name you raise your hand and he'd say yeah alleyway give me the answer it was so funny but he did it for like two years and he ha had this hockey stick if we were talking or disturbing the class he would take his hockey stick and jam it on a table <laughs> and we'd all be like oh my god keep came down we would be so scared for our lives that we would get hit with the hockey stick but it was very funny and i really enjoyed his classes it was <laughs> very memorable 
Lastly, like I said, he was always draped in a suit. He was always looking super tidy, walking around. But sometimes he would open up a drawer, take out this really oversized winter hat, put it on, put like headphones around it, put sunglasses on, a scarf, and he would just start headbanging in glass for a second. And we would be standing there like, uh-huh. All right. And then he would proceed to take all of those things off, throw them through the entire class, and say, let's continue. Wow! Hey all life that are here, thank you so much for watching this new story time video. Please let me know down below in the comments. Did you have one of these strange but awesome teachers? Please let me know because I would love to know. And if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I post something to get to know each other a little bit better like this on Saturday. And on Wednesday, I post something solely to entertain you, such as a comedy sketch. All of that to let people know that it's awesome and okay to be yourself and to be unique and you shouldn't let anyone change who you are because you are perfect the way you are. So if you agree, you can of course subscribe. But overall, I really hope you like this video. And like I always say, just be unique. You're awesome the way you are.